Oh, you just inhaled water through my nostril. That might need an apology video. The time when a guy asked for my Instagram and when he saw my following, he was like, oh, oh I realized that she'd stolen three of my products. Devil porcelain. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's fudge and go. going on YouTube welcome back to another video literally don't mind the state of my room and also don't judge the bed frame this is my childhood bedroom today I'm gonna show you my routine of how I get ready every single day I've started wearing makeup again a bit more recently and I was just gonna do like an everyday makeup routine that no one fucking asked for but then I thought I get questions about like every aspect of my appearance so I thought I might as well just throw it all into one, do you know what I mean? Like people ask me how I get my hair, like my fringe to stay how it does every single day, my skin, my style. I get comments about every little aspect, so I thought why not just fuck it into one video? So if you wanna see how I go from this to this, stay tuned. So I've actually got back on the grind of having cold showers every single day. Let's go. Cold showers, Oh, you fucking cunt. Alright, it's actually not that bad. My nipples could cut glass. Ah, okay, that's hurting now, it's hurting. Okay, I'll turn it back to hot now. I'm washing my hair and like shaving. I'm not. I'm not doing it all on cold. I'm not. Right. can't stop and they smell really bad. They're like the type of farts that you can only do when you're alone in your bedroom. Them ones. You all know what I'm talking about. Don't. Oh my God, someone did one of them in the club the other night. And this guy at the bar had the audacity to turn around to me and go, it was defo you. I mean, it, it was like, he was joking, but I was very quick to defend myself. It was, it was like something had crawled inside their ass and died at the bar. What, like, no, we all know. I have no shame in letting a little fart out every once in a while, but you think I'm doing that in the middle of a club at the bar? No. So whoever that was, you're sick in the head. Anyway. Let's get down to business. Perfect. Got the coffee on hand. First set, tinting the eyebrows. I always used to use this product. Ilior, Ili I just, I'm supposed to know how to pronounce that brand. Cause I don't. Ilior London Dye Brow. It says black, still doesn't do the trick for me. And I've complained about that a lot in my videos. So a lot of people started suggesting, where the fuck's it gone? A lot of people started suggesting the Just For Men beard dye because apparently it's like the same stuff, it's safe to use on your eyebrows. I've not done my research on that, so I am taking your word for it. So if I come out in a raging rash, it's all on you. <laughs> there it is. A handsome chap. No one advised me on this part. Am I meant to use the brush? The beard brush? That actually wouldn't be too bad, to be honest. It's like, kind of like a perfect eyebrow thing. I don't want to risk it. I might use the applicator from the other eyebrow kit. Great for sideburns too. Should I do them sideburns? That was a really pointless joke. Should I do them sideburns? It says mix with the handle. Okay, hoping for good results. I feel like it's stained my skin a little bit. <laughs> Just give me a fucking break. Like, I about just don't go on my skin, you know what I mean? I also didn't set a timer. So it's going really well. Right, hopefully that works. Oh, it's looking a bit questionable, I can't lie. Time to crack open the coffee. I'm not gonna lie, I am kind of manic right now because I haven't really had any sleep. Let me explain. I slept all day Sunday because I was hungover after a night out and I slept all day Monday. Don't really have an excuse for that. I've been sleeping all day every day for a lot of days, I'm not gonna lie. It's not great. I should one, probably go to therapy. Two, actually go to a sleep clinic. Yesterday, I slept for about seven or eight hours. My alarm went off at half eight. I snoozed my alarm until 5 p.m. The sun had gone down 5 p.m. Like I'd had a night of sleep already. And I could, every time the alarm went off, I was like, no. But that's the thing. It was a mixture of like, I physically can't open my eyes. But also when I did start to come around, I was like, I can't handle the thought of getting out of bed right now. 
So it sounds like there's multiple issues to be addressed here. I was literally still tossing and turning in bed at six in the morning. I was like, I'm determined to get a couple hours of sleep. I can't, I can't do this. It got to 7 a.m. I looked at the clock. I was like, bro, you actually might as well get up. Like I'm, I'm not going to sleep. 7 a.m. I went to the gym. I went food shopping, cooked for myself, journaled. Now I'm filming a video. I need an infill on my nails because it's got to that point where they're lifting. So anytime they go near my hair, like it pulls my hair out with them. Okay, let's see how they look after this. We might have made a groundbreaking discovery. Here. I just inhaled water through my nostrils. Shampoo. Oh yeah, fucking smash that. Oh, not again. Oh my god, I actually don't know if I can put that on the internet. That one shocked me. Like that, that might need an apology video. That's actually just reminded me of a time when a guy asked for my Instagram and when he saw my following, he was like, oh, like what is it that you do? And I was like, oh, like, I do YouTube. So he instantly started typing my name into YouTube and the third search suggestion was Chloe Hodgson. Fart. This guy was like, what does that mean? And I was like, I don't know. Which one of you sick fucks has been searching Chloe Hodgson fart for it to become one of the top suggestions when you tap my name in? Look at me, I'm a disgrace. And I love it. Mm. Oh. Anyway, I'm nowhere near ready. I literally washed my hair and tinted my eyebrows. Oh, I'm having fun. That's all that matters. Okay, so one of my eyebrows just fell out, which is not a good sign, but I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. So now we're actually getting ready. I'm gonna have to go and shampoo and condition my fringe again. It started to dry a bit. I'm sorry, but you gotta shampoo and condition it every day. That's what I do anyway. I don't care if it's not good for it. It's the only way it will fucking go right for me every day. First, a bit of Red Kent anti-snap because my hair is fucking frazzled. And then just standard heat protector. I don't really know what's good for your hair, what's not. I'm no professional, but I look hot every day, so take it as you will. I'm using my Dyson hair dryer and I've got me a little comb. Do side, do that. Side, other side. And back down the middle again. What I did forget to do is my skincare because I always do that before I dry the fringe. My bad, we'll do that now. But yeah, ideally I would do my skincare before I dry the fringe because obviously like it's all wet. My fringe starts sticking to it. So I've kind of just fucked myself up the arsehole, basically. Kiehl's toner, I've run out of cotton pads. I actually ran out of cotton pads about six months ago. Um, also, don't just copy whatever Kiehl's products I've got. Like, go and get a skin test because they assign products specifically to you and your skin type. Just putting that out there. Pick up my moisturizer. Ran out of my Kiehl's facial oil about six months ago as well. Never got that back, so I really should get that because that's like, I love that so much. It makes my skin so glowy. Also, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but back when I was living alone in Manchester, I hired a cleaner once because the place was just a mess and I could not handle cleaning it. Like, I really, I just couldn't. I was not in the right state of mind. I hired a cleaner for the first time in my life. I realized that she'd stolen three of my products. I think she took my shampoo, my body wash, or shaving gel, something like that. And my Kiehl's face wash. That's about 30 or 40 pounds, the face wash alone. Like she probably robbed me of about 60, 70 pounds. And I don't know why I didn't report it. Like I just didn't have the energy at that point. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take the L because no one else had been in there. I, kn I knew it was her, like I, it's no doubt about it. She's She stole my items and I just let her get away with it. And it wasn't a mistake, like they weren't empty. The face wash was brand new. She didn't throw away anything else out of my apartment. Just my products, they just gone. Do you think I'm not gonna notice if you take my fucking shampoo and body wash? Anyway, got absolutely violated there. I paid for that, I paid for her to steal from me. Anyway, I do straighten my fringe every day. I try to help it by doing that little bit of heat protection. I don't know how much it does. Look, like if you don't wanna straighten your fringe every day, it's like, this is what I'm working with now. It's, it's not bad. If you got like a little pomade or something, you could style it like that. Like to be fair, it's really not bad, but I just prefer to straighten it because it like gets all the flyaways down. I'm drinking the Starbucks double shot espresso. It's very nice. I get a little grip and then a section, like the top bit out of it. All right, so put the comb underneath and then have a slight bevel so that it doesn't go dead like flat. You don't want it to stick out, babe. Bevel. When I say bevel, I mean like turn it under a, a little bit, not too much. The reason this is sounding like an actual tutorial right now is because, babe, I have been through all the bad phases with my fringe. I'm only human. I've just took the second layer down, done that. Perfect. We'll focus on the rest of the hair layer. We are going to do the makeup. Beauty guru Chloe has entered the chat. I don't use a primer because I just like leave my found, 
leave my moisturizer as my primer. I am no makeup guru, but it works for me. Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation SPF 15. This one. Just to put into perspective how fucking pale I am. This is shade Ivory. Another concealer that I use, shade Snow. Oh, another one that I use, Porcelain. <laughs> my antibiotics. I had tonsillitis recently. Where were we? Apply my foundation to my hand and then I get my Morphe M406. Dab it in there and then I just like buff it in and then we circle. Look at the difference. Like that, it's just like one light coat of that. Every now and then I do go through a little like makeup phase where I'm like, look, I just wanna have an even skin tone for once. But then after I've had a bit of a makeup phase, I then force myself to stop wearing it for a bit, like a little detox because I reach a point where I start taking the makeup off and I start seeing it as a downgrade and I'm like, oh, I don't look as pretty like this. Oh, like my natural skin isn't as good. Do you know what I mean? So instead of just being like, yeah, a bit of fun, lighthearted makeup, I start being like, I'm way prettier with it. It's like, no, it just gets unhealthy. So for now, we're just having a bit of fun with it. I feel like that'd be the case for anyone. Like if that becomes your routine, like you're used to wearing makeup every single day, you naturally start thinking that that is like your better looking self. And that's... I wanna love me for me, you know? It's really not translating on camera, but I do get very, very red cheeks. And I also have very purple under eyes. Oh my God, I just knocked my nose piercing out. What the fuck? It looks so natural. And it's so nice to look at your skin when it's like a natural, like when it's um an even skin tone. But I also like to just remind myself that my natural skin, like my normal complexion is okay as well. But not today. And then we've got to annoyingly lift the fringe up. Like the forehead, like it can just be rough. And then just drag it a bit down the neck. Awesome. <laughs> ah, my nails. I need an infill. They are so bad now. Shut the fuck up. Okay, what the fuck was I just saying there? I'm not gonna lie, most days I don't wear any makeup, but for the sake of the vid, I'm gonna show you my routine for when I do. Okay, now that that's done, I take the Hula Light by Benefit. I use the brush that it comes with. I just like loosely put that around my cheekbone, a bit under the nose, on the forehead a bit. Because the fringe does like, you know, it, it parts at times. It does like to show the forehead every now and again. So we don't want to completely neglect him. I might just take the remainder of what's on here. Just kind of put that right in the cheekbone. It looks very harsh on there. It's, it's really not in person. And I just blend that. Because I use, oh yeah, I didn't uh, mention. I use this NYX Singular Bronzer in the shade Toffee slash caramel and this is the brush i use for that so i'm taking like the leftovers from the last time i used it and just dabbing it around then i take this zoeva brush zoeva 221 look soft crease i'm really a beauty girl now back in with the hula light such a creative routine i know whack it in the crease and just drag it out at the side and hope for the best okay just had the hot straighteners resting on my iphone <laughs> Now the moment of truth. Are the eyebrows gonna turn out better than usual? Now I usually use this MAC gel eyeliner, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today because it does give me a bit of like a block fill brow look. And I did it today, like when I went to the gym and I'm not being funny, but I did look a bit like the red angry bird. Oh, I'm using the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Waterproof Mascara. Soap and Glory is so underrated. The, the lip plumping stuff, it's amazing, like don't sleep on Soap and Glory. I was using the Soap and Glory normal thick and fast on my eyebrows, cause that's what I use on my lashes. But then one day it rained and my eyebrows started running down my face in public. Mm. Look at that, can you see that? I actually don't even think there is like the brown tinge today. So thank you so much to whoever suggested the Just For Men beard dye. Okay, a lot of days I don't wear mascara. I am just gonna wear my waterproof one because, you know, my mental health's been a bit temperamental at the minute. Let's go for it. I am tempted to get lash extensions again, even after the last time. I'm tempted to try a different style of lash. I'd have to make sure they were like a really nice and natural type because that last time was fucking traumatic and I cannot sugarcoat that in any way. I can't. You saw it for yourself. Yeah, some days I don't even bother doing mascara or anything because my lashes are so prominent. Like it really changes the whole vibe of the look. Like this is like a good vibe for most days. Like I'm just going out, running a few errands. Not that I ever fucking do that. But if I'm feeling like a little bit of a slag, 
then we'll do this. Okay, these farts have finally led to me feeling like I'm literally gonna shit myself. I've got really rosy cheeks as well. I'm looking a bit like an abandoned doll. I don't know why I said abandoned. That, that just made it a bit morbid, didn't I? Oh, are you exhausted? Because I fucking am. Last thing, actually kind of last thing. Cover effects, custom enhancer drops in moonlight. I'll just dab it there. Nice one. I don't even know if I apply that right. Like, does it even look good? I don't know. Like, I could be doing it really bad and I would have no idea. Tip of my nose. But yeah, like, I have no one to, like, approve of my highlight, whether it looks good or not. So, if you've got to let me know. Because I do spend, like, every single day on my own. You might be wondering what we're doing with the rest of my hair. Oh, I had it tied up that whole time, so it's not dried. Right, I'm gonna blast it with the hair dryer. And then I am just gonna throw it up into a clip. Like, I'm not straightening it today. I don't have the energy. And then I will be taking this clip and putting it up. But first, let's put our outfit on. I think I am on a turtleneck vibe, you know, the black turtleneck or the cream turtleneck. Give me a minute. All right, let's start with hair. Let's just get that up and out the way. Drag these side pieces down. And then I drag it into like a low ponytail. And then I just start to twist. Twist, I have a lot of hair. And we pull it right up, straight down the middle. And then we pull it back down and then back up again. And then I have my big tortoise shell clip that I got from Boots. Where are these from? Probably Primark, I don't know. My skull ring and then my snake ring. I'm actually devastated. I did have a samurai sword thumb ring. And one night after I'd had it for about a year, it snapped. The metal, it just fucking snapped off my finger. Anyway, I'm left with these two now. I do have a load more, but they don't really fit the vibe. And I don't really have to worry about a necklace because I don't feel like I need it with a turtleneck right now. I'm not that advanced with fashion. Like I would, I'd, I'd do it wrong. I really do want to get like into fashion more because I love fashion. I've just never known how to like do it properly on myself. So I'm trying anyway. I'm just, I don't follow other people. I just put together what I feels right. And I love it. And I'm living my life and I'm having fun. This is not the ideal filming setup. Like I said, this is my childhood bedroom. So it's very small small okay there's not much room to work with but yeah you know I'm actually I'm okay with this outfit I'm feeling good I'm feeling good anyway I hope you have the best morning day night evening sleep whatever time of day it is and I will see you in another video soon in the meantime go and follow my socials if you haven't already subscribe turn on post notifications leave me a like to help me with the algorithm get my videos up there and leave me a comment and I forgot to put lip gloss on <laughs> soap and glory sexy mother pucker in the shade bare enough perfect see you later